Hi, I'm Liam from Fowles and welcome to the Home Renovators Auction Preview for Wednesday the 14th of July 2021 at 10am. Well, I thought I'd start the auction here today. We've got a few uh, electric fireplaces. Now, these are thousands of dollars in the shops. Uh, I'm guessing that'll bid around the seven, eight hundred dollar mark for that one. Uh, three months warranty on all of these, maybe a little less for the smaller one, and then a couple of hundred bucks uh, for the really tiny one there. Uh, but they are fabulous. Uh, if you're looking for something like that, you will save literally thousands of dollars on the big one. So, really nice looking units here. Okay, what else have we got? We're going to have a look at the outdoor heater this is a beautiful uh, radiant gas outdoor heater they are about a thousand bucks in the shops uh, and I reckon the bidding will be around the high $200 mark tomorrow so they're really snappy impressive looking thing uh, the gas bottle hides in behind the, the base there uh, and they do give off a lot of heat so really nice looking units there uh, got a little bit of uh, unreserved X higher artworks to go through tomorrow so there's probably th about a dozen pieces uh, scattered throughout the auction that's pretty nice plenty of sinks uh, we've had heaps and heaps of sinks in from Frankie is the main brand there's a couple of other brands and you're probably looking at around between sort of half Half and a third of, of the usual retails. Uh, a couple of nice freestanding baths in tomorrow. If you're pressed for space, this is going to be uh, one of the ones for you. 1100 long freestanding bath. A uh, couple of those are fresh out of the boxes uh, in brand new condition, and you're probably going to be looking at um, between sort of mid threes to mid 400s, I'd imagine. Uh, still got lots of the KitchenAid dishwashers. I love showing these off. Uh, got a, still pro probably got a couple of hundred of these left. Uh, the bidding has been around the mid 300s on these, about that 350 mark. Uh, they come with uh, 18 wine glass holders, so you can fit 18 wine glasses in at a time. And they've also got the uh, the quadruple propeller at the back there. Uh, so really fantastic units. Around sort of 12 or 1300 dollars in the shops, mid 300s. Of course, you've got to put the front on uh, that you'll integrate uh, into your into the, the design of your kitchen but they are absolutely fantastic everyone who's got one has been totally wrapped with them They've got some uh, outdoor barbecues, uh, built-in built barbecues. I think we've got both uh, the black and the uh, stainless steel tomorrow. Around that 1400 has been the historical bidding. What else can I show you? I think we've still got a couple of these beautiful KitchenAid uh, double-door fridges there. I've shown you those in previous videos. Absolutely sensational. 11,000 in the shops when they, were, uh, when they were current. They're now discontinued. There's a couple left, and the bidding in the last few weeks has been that high 3,000 mark, sort of $3,900 mark or thereabouts. Uh, absolutely sensational. Uh, so if you are after one, there is indeed a couple of those left in boxes out the back ready to go. Uh, quite a bit of furniture in tomorrow. Uh, there's, uh, we've got some this nice grey two-seater two here and also that nice chaise there in the, uh, in the it's quite a current uh, sort of light grey brown colour there. Pretty nice. Uh, as you can see mountains of crockery. Again if you've got a catering business this would be sensational or a restaurant or a cafe. Uh, these are by the pallet and they will be cheap. There's loads and loads of mainly dinner plates. Um, I can see there's a couple uh, still of the, uh, the martini glasses. I'll see if I can reach one without knocking them all over. So they're pretty nice. Nice and sturdy martini glasses uh, and also uh, some of the old school 1920s champagne glasses there. Uh, so really nice looking gear. More furniture on the right hand side uh, and over the way you can see there's loads of fridges again this week. Uh, I'll spin you around in a minute and we'll have a look at this, um, some bench seats over the other side. Uh, I won't forget to show you those on the way through. Across the way I can see uh, we have got uh, some bar fridges, some, some, some beautiful bar fridges there. Uh, they're pretty nice, they're always pretty popular. Uh, up at the top, the, uh, the, the stainless steel barbecues I was speaking about earlier, uh, they're pretty nice as well. And dead in front of us, we've got plenty of vanities tomorrow, both freestanding and also uh, we've got uh, wall-mounted vanities. Uh, down the back here, there's a fair, a fair bit of um, ex-estate furniture there as well. These are actually pretty interesting. Um, they're, they're in really good condition, folks. Uh, the low-slung chairs uh, with the, it feels like a, a, a woolen cover, but I can tell you now they are in super sonic condition. I expect those to go for a good probably couple of hundred dollars. Anything less than a couple of hundred dollars will be an absolute bargain. They are genuine, those ones. Uh, really nice looking units. Um, and just for the for everyone playing at home, I cannot see a single bit of uh, hole, hole damage uh, on any of the fabrics. They are in mint condition. Absolute rippers, folks. Uh, they will not be here at the end of tomorrow's auction. I'll start them away at $1, no reserve. Uh, but you are bidding on uh, some genuine... Um, pieces there. Really, really nice. That sort of takes my breath away there. I haven't, haven't seen those in so far. 
let's have a look. We've got uh, a, a, a lot of other antique furniture. I'm going to start it all the way unreserved as well. So there's some really nice pieces in. Um, we don't get a lot of this stuff. And uh, as I said, it's, it's all in pretty good nick as well. Uh, so that's great to have some, uh, some variety there. Got some washing machines, the beautiful Euromade front load 10 kilo washer there, and I can see we've got some beautiful freestanding uh, 540 mil cookers as well, always popular with the landlords. Um, over on the other side, we've got plenty of ovens, both compact ovens, 900 ovens, and 600 standard ovens. A uh, couple of range hoods uh, there as well, the canopy range hoods. Uh, more sinks down the back here, uh, more vanity basins as well, so got uh, just the vanity only basins. Uh, got some smaller uh, front load washing machines as well, the six kilo front load washing machines. They're pretty nice as well. Uh, down through the back I can see we've got uh, some free uh, so frameless shower screens, uh, usually bidding around the 450 mark is about the, on the, the frameless shower screens, and they're in the standard sizes. I think we've got 900s, 900 by 900, and 1000 by 1000, and maybe 1200 by 900 as well. A couple of freezers there as well, nice little size there, uh, bidding about high 400s on the freezers tomorrow. Uh, what else can I show you? We'll spin across here, let's have a look. Um, I saw a couple of other additions in here as well that were worthy of note. Uh, I can see we've got more compact ovens here. A couple of Bertazzoni appliances as well, so if you're familiar with those, we've had those in quite a bit. Um, just before that, there's a nice little microwave there, lot 409. Um, yeah, there's a Bertazzoni steam oven and a Bertazzoni microwave oven that have come in as well, lot 411 and 412, they're worthy of note. Uh, also, if you're looking for a top-end oven, uh, I've got Electrolux 900s and also Electrolux 600s. Absolute crackers, folks. Check them out in your catalogue. You can uh, do, do your research. 415, 415, lot 417. Uh, there's 419s, a compact, but there's, um, there's some beautiful high end Electrolux ovens. We did have a heap in, they've mostly sold now, so get in if you want to grab some, gra grab any of those. Uh, also got some uh, loads of dishwashers and freestanding cookers. There's a, a Euro freestanding cooker. There's probably three or four of those left, around the thousand dollar mark, absolute cracker at a thousand. Uh, also, there's a, uh, one called a Salt. Uh, we've got, looks like five of those, around that mid 800 is the usual bidding on them. Uh, very limited stocks of the KitchenAid gear now, uh, but I do have a, a quite a few of the um, the coffee machines still, around that $1,600 mark is about the bidding. They are sensational and you won't find a built-in coffee machine anywhere in the market for less than about two and a half, so 1600 is massive buying, particularly being KitchenAid branded. Uh, a little bit more furniture here, uh, a few bits of, a uh, few tap, taps and tap fittings there, just um, uh, just some stuff to clear there, that's pretty, all that, all that stuff's pretty nice gear. Um, there's some TV, TV antenna leads and TV antennas, uh, bits and pieces like that. Uh, Lot 452 is a cracker as well, I've got a few of these. Uh, they are a beautiful square profiled freestanding bathtub, very, very nice. Um, looks like there's at least three of those and again I'm, I'm guessing about a mid 400 uh, dollar bid would be around the money on those. Uh, some miscellaneous mattresses here. Um, check out the descriptions on those, they'll be cheap as well. Single, king single, uh, what else it looks like as a queen there. There could be a king size. Uh, some really nice uh, looking mattresses there, so um, check those out in the catalogue. Uh, out the front in the car park here, I can see we've got uh, some some miscellaneous pallets of tiles. You're going to be looking at two dollars to five dollars a square meter on all the tiles, uh, and then also across the way here, uh, we've just got a couple of these planter boxes left. Um, I know for a fact there'll be a few people buying these tomorrow, and they'll probably just be all cleared out tomorrow. Uh, bidding on those around that eighty dollar mark, uh, but they're really well constructed. They've got commercial grade wheels with brakes. Uh, and they're fantastic as well. Uh, last but not least, I've got a few uh, stone bench tops uh, to go out. Um, you're probably looking about the high 200s on these, the grey stone bench tops. Um, and they're, they're beautiful. In the shops, you're going to be a thousand dollars plus. So a really nice looking auction tomorrow, folks. Make sure you check out the carpet and also timber building materials auction videos as well. We'll look forward to seeing you here at 10am tomorrow. Thanks for watching.